if you're a recruiter that is currently working at an agency, but you're thinking about leaving that agency to start as a freelance or an independent recruiter, one of the biggest challenges that you're going to face initially is getting the software to be able to do the job. Now, a lot of freelancers, when they first break away from agency, because money is tight, they end up using things like Google Sheets or Excel to manage their candidate pool, the jobs they're working on, and track all the interviews. And it's a really quick way to lose track of what you're doing because using Excel to manage everything, you're going to miss out on opportunity by just forgetting the jobs that you're working on, forgetting some candidates you've spoken to, and not managing things properly. So at Gig, what we're doing to help you solve that problem is we're creating a selection of free software products that allow you for completely free to be able to log in, set up an account, and start tracking and managing candidates you're working with, the clients that you're working with, and the contacts that work at that company as well. In today's video, what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how you sign up and open an account so that you can access the CRM and just some of the basic functionality around that as well. So I'll start by sharing my screen with you. I've initially just come to the Gig Hire homepage, which is spelt G-I-I-G-H-I-R-E.com. I will attach in the notes to this video the links to both the free ATS and free CRM so that you can access them. But there's the website should you wish to just type that in. When you come to the homepage, you want to look for free recruitment software in the top taskbar, and you'll see that we've actually got links to both the customer relationship management tool and the applicant tracking system. And the homepage for the CRM just basically explains that it's a free tool for you to use, explaining kind of why it is that we're looking to help, and also some of the features that are available to you as part of the CRM. When you're ready to sign up, all you have to do is click the, the, one of the sign up for free buttons, and it will bring you through to this let's get your account created page which is the first page for si of the signing process now you'll see that sign up, signing up to this takes a couple of minutes doesn't take too long and there's no credit card that's required so you don't have to sign up for a trial period or you don't have to enter any credit card details you can sign up in a matter of minutes and all you need is an email address so you go to the recruiter option click next um, you then can start to put in an email address it will ask you to create a password. It will ask you to reconfirm your password and agree to the terms and conditions. Once you've done this first stage, the system will then send you a confirmation email to the address that you provided, just so that we know that you are the owner of that email address. And all that you have to do is go into your Outlook find that email and just click just click the OK button. So once you have clicked on the confirm email address button in the email that's been sent to you, you just have to then follow the sign-in process, which is fairly straightforward. And what we run you through is a quick welcome to Gig, and we explain about some of the tools that we are creating to help you get started as a freelance recruiter. So once you've completed the onboarding process and provided all the details about the company that you've set up, you will then be straight into the system where you see you have a section, my jobs, candidates, companies, contacts, and interview pipelines. So because we're talking about the CRM today, you, I will just quickly run you through the fact that you can add companies, you can add contacts and jobs to the system. But like we say, you can also add candidates as well to send to those jobs. That's something that has been covered in a previous video. So if I go to the company database, you can see create my first company. You can drop in a logo. So you can attach a logo, company name, and then click create. And simple as that, you've then got you've now got your first company in the database in the system. Inside the, inside a company, you can add contacts, add jobs, and send candidates to those jobs as well, which can all be found in the different spaces of the taskbar as well. We have this universal create button at the top, which allows you to create anything you want. It's a quick and easy way just to add contacts or add details into the system. So for this example, I will add a contact. I will use 
my own details. I'll put myself as CEO. And you can then select which company you want to add that person to. So I'll save that. And that contact can now be found in, in the company tab. And you can edit that contact at any time to add details, LinkedIn profile, and obviously delete that contact as well, should you wish to remove them from the company. So that's a step-by-step -step guide on how you can sign up and access the free CRM that we've built and start tracking the contacts and the companies that you're working with. In other videos, I have already covered off kind of how you can add candidates, CVs, pass CVs into the system, manage interview processes from CV sent to hired, all of that kind of thing has been covered. It is on the YouTube. So if you want to head over to YouTube, search for Geek Hire, you'll see all the other videos that we've created. We, we try to post at least once a week, showcasing all of the new features that are coming out. And we also have a blog page as well, where we run through kind of upcoming features, what we're gonna create in the next couple of months, and how you make the most of the stuff that's already available for you today.